I'm not saying I'm tough. I certainly was not running and jumping jacks in the street to get the cops to stop and then have some girl sue me. I didn't do no bull****, you know? But that's him, man. That's 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 him. Well, you mentioned United Masters. Yeah. Uh, I saw something where Kid from Kid in Play said he introduced you to the music world. He said that you were a shark. You was made for this business. You were a shark. He was a dolphin. For me. Okay, all right, cool. We got through the dame part. Um, Y'all said that Nikki is... Uh, it's it's hour and four. Let's, go. Let's go to that. Talking to and others and others <laughs> yeah. and others, and but that's what it felt like in the beginning when you know when I was 19, 20, when I was coming up, I learned the corporate side, but I, I paid attention. I've, I've always been to it. It's everywhere because everyone cares about the advertising business. <laughs> Don't be one of them snickers. <laughs> get y'all because if you got a podcast, who's your advertiser? Yeah. You know, but, but I'm telling you, that was a horrible right. throw. Yeah. I'm trying to make it rain. Yeah. See in hip hop, go, brother. Yeah. Same culture. We make it rain. Make it rain. But, but when I went to the advertising business, it wasn't popular. Like you left the record business to go into advertising business. Everybody wants to be in the advertising business now. Huh. Everybody. Probably. Nigga, if you got a cast, yep. you're an influencer, you want to, whatever you want to do, you want to be in the advertising business. Sure. You want money from advertisers. Sure. You got it. You want to monetize attention? Go to the advertising business. Guess what I do? Run the advertising business. I started that 20 years ago. Yeah. You ain't know it would be where it is now. Yeah, you, you ain't know. Yeah, you did. You didn't know social media would be here 20 years. No, I didn't know social media was going to be as big. But what I did know, man, what I did know is that people were going to be able to monetize their influence. I actually Skating on baby oil, nigga. Okay? Then he piped you out in the bathroom with Stevie J. There, too. Like, at the white party, nobody needs a rope at the white party. Everybody there but me and Alicia were famous. And <laughs> Steve, had rope Steve, Steve, Steve had a rope. Steve had a rope. Steve, Steve, had, Steve, and, Steve and Jay <laughs> had a rope, right? And so I'm walking past. I speak to Steve. I was there dapping him off. And so I walk around, and I swear, Jay-Z got up, and he wasn't walking. Like, he got over close to me, and he never put his feet on the ground. And his legs didn't move. Like, This is what we call dead. Damn. It's what we call writing. Damn. Okay? I just want to point this out. Damn. So you, you saw Jay-Z, and he was moving, but he was not walking. And that's the story you're going with. Okay? Damn. I just want to ve verify. This is penis saddling. R really? Penis saddling, huh? This is the rodeo, a cock saddling extravaganza. Uh-huh. So you've seen Jay-Z walk around, but his, his, his foot, foot never moved. Okay. Uh-huh. I just want to point that out. Legitimately, because it's the first time I'd ever seen him in person. So if 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 that's penis riding and cock riding, then what do you, what is this? What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. If we broke it off, then you know it wasn't painless. So what would you classify this? You passing out drunk on live stream, listening to Drake. Screaming at the top of your lungs over Drake. What do you cl classify this? Now, if you if you if you call that dick riding, this must be dick sucking. All right. So if you say he riding pause, you must be sucking pause. No, did it. What top five you smoking on Kendrick? Mm -hmm. Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. If we broke it up. Oh, okay, I, I just I just want to make sure. All right. He just floated over. Like the golden child. Yeah, he just floated over. And he didn't even say nothing to me. He just hit me one. Uh oh. The nigga who's built like a camel. Camel? Damn. Big ass lips. Whoa. Oh. One of them Amistad noses. What? Hoofs. Wait. He wasn't walking. He was floating. Okay. You got it. One of these, and I left. I was like, oh, wait, my night is over. But I had to, yeah, honestly, I had to get in the talk to him, though, and having a conversation. I ain't gonna lie. And, 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 and still, shout out to my man, uh, um, Ryan Clark. But Ryan Clark, you were smitten, my nigga. This is the type of impression that most people had of Diddy till Diddy fucked him. Real talk. Like, this is the type of, there's mad niggas who had that, like, oh, my God, I seen Diddy. He was just in a mink. He wasn't even walking. He was floating. He wasn't floating. He was skating on baby oil, nigga. Okay? Then he piped you out in the bathroom with Stevie J, allegedly. And then had Cassie watch you. Come on, stop playing. What do you mean these niggas ain't walking? These are humans. These are humans. Yo, egg. Well, why egg crashing? <laughs> why is egg crashing out on him like that, man? God damn, calm down, Aki Wacky. This is how you get fucked. What? What do you mean, Jay Z don't walk? What? Oh, I seen, I seen Puffy. He was on a slip and slide. He just slid on his belly. Yes, <laughs> he slid on his belly. <laughs> Yo, yo, what's wrong with this nigga, man? What? Yo, what? Why are you so triggered, bro? Why are you so triggered? Damn. 
person. He just floated over. Like the golden child. Yeah, he just floated over. And he didn't even say nothing to me. He just hit me one. <laughs> the nigga who's built like a camel. Why? <laughs> Big ass lips. Yo. Why are you tripping one of them like Amistad that? noses. But 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 why you mad? Hoofs. Why are you mad? He wasn't though? walking. He was floating. Why are you so mad about his interaction? Why that's that's his interaction? Why are you mad about how he feeling or what he? Why is that? Why does that upset you? Because you haven't met Jay Z. I'm trying to understand why you mad, bro. Why is he so passionate about this? Okay, you got it. One of these, and I left. I was like, oh wait, my night is over. But after, yeah, honestly, after getting to talk to him though and having a conversation, I ain't gonna lie. And, 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 and still, shout out to my man, uh, um. <laughs> Ryan Clark, but Ryan Clark, you were spent, my nigga. This is the type of impression that most people had of Diddy till Diddy fucked him. Real talk, like this is the type of there's mad niggas who had that. Like, oh my god, I seen Diddy. He was just in a mink. He wasn't even walking. He was floating. He wasn't floating. He was skating on baby oil, nigga. Okay. <laughs> then he piped you out in the bathroom with Stevie J allegedly, and Whoa. then had Cassie watch. You. Come on, stop playing. What you mean these niggas ain't walking? Whoa. These are humans. These are humans. <laughs> this is how you get fucked. This is how you get. What do you mean, Jay Z don't walk? Oh, I seen, I seen Puffy. He was on a slip and slide. He just slid on his belly. Yes, nigga. It was all baby oil, you fucking idiot. Wow. Wow. I just want to point out, anybody who said they saw Prince and Prince was floating, I thought they were gay. That's facts. Oh, you, oh, you saw Prince, he was floating? Oh, no, you was just smitten. Okay, you, 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 Prince walks like a human being. What do you mean you seen Jay-Z but you never seen his foot move? What the fuck does that mean? What the hell? Damn. The white party. Nobody needs a rope at the white party. Everybody there but me and Alicia were famous. And <laughs> Steve, the rope Steve, Steve had a rope. Steve had a rope. Steve, 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 and, Steve and Jay. You know what the craziest thing is? I be looking this shit up sometimes. Damn. But I don't. My nigga Ryan Clark made twenty three million dollars in the NFL. It's no way he's this naive. Like Ryan Clark is talking like a groupie on Instagram. This shit is crazy. What you mean you see these niggas in there floating, bro? Like yo, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck, nigga? You, wasn't he like a what position he played? He played like like defense or some shit. Bro, well, why are you mad about his interaction? He just telling his. Why are you so mad about that? I don't understand why you mad about that. Does he have some type of investment or something? I don't. I don't understand why. Why is he crashing out like this, nigga? You were like playing safety or some shit or cornerback when Peyton Manning was. What you mean? Did you think them players was flown too? Or what the fuck going on? Steve and Jay had a rope, right? And so I'm walking past. I speak to Steve. I was there dabbing him off. And so I walk around, and I swear, Jay-Z got up, and he wasn't walking. Like, he got over close to me, and he never put his feet on the ground. And his legs didn't move, like, legitimately. Because it's Yo, with all due respect, all I'm hearing from Ryan Clark is saying, that night, Jay could have fucked me if he wanted. What you mean in the game walk? Bro, you got to understand what you're saying to the... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Pause. What? Pause. Pause, right, bro. Good. That's crazy. Crazy. The regular public, my nigga. Yo, this is the only thing on like when athletes do podcasts. They be, yo, you know when all y'all athletes do podcasts, whether it's you, Jeff Teague, Gilbert That's Arenas. Crazy. Before we listen to y'all opinion, we Google how much money you made. So we know you're not a normal nigga. We don't think you're just some random nigga walking off the street. We're looking at you as a nigga that's up eight figures. And you think Jay-Z's floating? Oh, Jay-Z could have put his dick in your butt. I'm sorry. Could have put his, his, I'm sorry. Like, what, like, bro, come on, bro. What the fuck? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Pause. What? Pause. Pause, right, bro. Good. Wow. First time I'd ever seen him in person. He just floated wow. over. Like the golden child. Yeah, he just floated over. And he didn't even say nothing to me. He just hit me one of these. And I left. I was like, oh, wait. My night is over. But after Shit. If that nigga had got a this is hove text, come back to the penthouse, that nigga would have been a new man. He said, Jay-Z did one of these. And he said, my night is good. I'm out. <laughs> what? Yo, chat, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, and, and, and I'm not trying to play with, like, I fuck with Ryan Clark, real talk. I'm not trying to, like, violate him, no type of shit. But, chat, what he's talking about is why all y'all favorite rappers get fucked by these niggas, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro, if you get this starstruck money, nigga, you up $20 million, and you saying a nigga foot not touching the ground, he floating, he doing all type of hieroglyphics, he looking like Jesus. Nigga, bro, what he describing, we've only ever seen in the Bible. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I seen Jesus. They had two nails in his arm. They had like some shit on his head. It looked like a crown. Like they had this nigga. Yeah, he looked dead as fuck. They put him in a tomb. And three days later, he popped out like, what up, G? I'm chilling. Yeah, th that's how y'all sound. Y'all yeah. describing this nigga like he's not human. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was kicking with Jesus one time. Like, yo, like first thing I pulled up on Jesus, I said, Jesus, where the hoes at? He said, I don't know, but let's find him. Yeah, we pulled up on some spot. I ain't gonna lie to keep it up being. It was like, it was like about 3,000 niggas 
but it was about 500 bitches to keep it a bean. Here's the thing. The hoes was about to leave, but then we look at my man Jesus and say, yo, bro, we only got like five loaves of bread and like three fishes. You can feed everybody. He fed every... Bro, stop it, nigga. Jay-Z's a fucking human being. Nigga, the nigga look like a camel with big ass lips. He walks like a fucking human with big ass hoofs. Stop it. Stop the dick riding. This is why you niggas get fucked. <laughs> Told my all this. Oh, yeah, I seen a nigga float. What the fuck is you talking about? Hey, hey, this is exactly how we feel about you, bro. When you when you talk about Drake, this is exactly how we feel. Bro. This is this is exactly how we feel, bro. Stop the dick ride. Stop the dick sucking, man. This is so. Now you know our pain. Pause. This is exactly how we feel when we watch you talk about your boo, your rich baby daddy. So I just I just want you to realize that how you feel is how we feel when when we watch you. It's exactly how we feel. All right. Chase that floating. Y'all better show you right. <laughs> There'd be an allegation about me in the morning. Like, holy shit. What the fuck is niggas talking about? You see that nigga float? Y'all describe this nigga like he's Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> This nigga laughing at his goofy ass story. He knows it's kept like, nigga, I gotta be hot of here. You said you seen you seen this big lip, top heavy nigga fucking float? The nigga who lost 92 bricks to start floating. Nigga, stop it, nigga. <laughs> Just say you wanted to suck his dick. Whoa. This is for all you niggas like hey, by the way, I'm I'm keeping the same energy. If I ever say I meet Drake and Drake floating, say act you gay as shit. <laughs> Please, just, just tell me. Hey, bro, there's a lot of clips. Come on, but see, this is exactly why people say what they say about you and Drake. How you think he's sounding about Jay Z? That's how we know that you sounding about Drake. It's okay, I I'll accept that. If I ever say, "Oh no, I saw Drake," and oh my god, he just started levitating. What? These are humans. He, he crashing out for real. You telling me? Ryan Clark, no disrespect, you know, I, I don't know, well, you probably don't even know who I am, it's all good. But Ryan Clark, you telling me that the nigga, I just want to be very clear. Jay-Z, hold on. I just, I just want Ryan Clark to clarify. You tell me that this nigga right here was <laughs> levitating gang? Bro, stop the malarkey. <laughs> I was born at night, not last night, nigga. So this nigga was levitating. He, his foot never touched the ground. He's Aquaman. This nigga's Thor. <laughs> Call him Aquaman. Y'all just gotta cut it out, bro. Y'all gotta cut it out. Y'all gotta cut it out. Uh, yeah, honestly, I had to get in the talk to him though and having a conversation out. with him and just seeing how aware he is, yeah. um, how his focus is always going forward, but he oh, does shit. have the time. Yo, chat, I'm gonna keep it a beat with you. This is how they fuck you in the industry. <laughs> if you meet a nigga and you think he not walking on ground, you thinking like he's a deity, he's a god. Of course oh, he could put his fucking dick in your booty hole, nigga. Whoa, of course. Chill. Of course he could have you bobbing your fucking head, sucking his cock. I'm not oh, saying that's certainly Ryan Clark. But what I'm saying is, y'all see why did he fuck so many of your favorite rappers? Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. I know his PR's been going crazy recently. Allegedly, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why this nigga talking crazy, man? Why, why? Hey, I just got to ask, why are you so upset, man? Holy. I mean, this, he, he, he's, he's really bothered, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas are saying they seen regular humans and they're floating. <laughs> we asked him to speak to Quincy Wilson, who had won a 400 gold medal. He was 16 years old at Fanatics Fest. Took, took his time, spent with that young man, had a conversation with him. So for me. Podcast sponsored by Fanatics. I want to hear his story about when he met Michael Rubin. This nigga might be like, oh, I seen white Jesus just descend from heaven. He came down in a white cloth and he said, from this day forward, we will have white parties on the 4th of July. There will be endless amount of liquor. There'll be endless amount. Come on, bro. What are you talking about? These are fucking humans. Cut it the fuck out, nigga. Bro, you made $30 million in the, in the NFL. Like, I, you, you know, I can't understand what these athletes. Bro, y'all made money in the NFL. Did y'all go broke? Like, why y'all see me like hoes? Y'all supposed to be like, nigga, I was under the spotlight being a star in the NFL. I made money. I'm not broke. I'm not going to be a groupie. A nigga who I bring from the bus station, if he sees Jay-Z, he's going to be like hypnotized by whatever aura he thinks he sees and thinks Damn. he'll let Jay-Z fuck him. But Ryan Clark, you, you made $30 million. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? You see the nigga lev levitate. That's how you feel? Is Ryan Clark good? Damn. I don't know about all the other so stuff. Is, I obviously man. want That's Wayne. Is, I obviously want Wayne to have everything I feel like he's earned oh, and deserved. Wayne, Wayne I'm also is, a Kendrick yeah. fan, though, so I understand. Yeah. By the way, Wayne is outstanding. Yeah. Did he tell the Nikki story or that is a golden tangent? Wayne is outstanding. Whew. All right. So I want to go from there to go to this, right? Because Ryan, Ryan Clark responds back to uh, 
to what Academic said, because Academic was turned up right there. God damn, man. It seemed to be a little triggered. So let's see how Ryan Clark responds to uh, Academic's response to Academic's. Let's play that real quick. All right, let's play this. YouTube. Now the two guys actually. And so I walk around and I swear. A cock saddling. Jay-Z. Have you ever been starstruck? After the catch. A week later, bronze man stuff. I'm like, oh, what's up? This is your sports off of jewelry. I think all of us has that joke. I'm not going to get into little boy insults. I don't play the media mad game. If I have an issue, it's an actual issue. Now, that was a very direct message from Ryan. All right, so this is his response. He didn't make a real video video. He just he just made a little tweet. All right, he said, I'm not going to trip on academics. I don't talk about him, no watch him. So let him do what he does. I'm not going to get into this little boy insults. I don't play that media game. If you have an issue, it's an issue. So that was Clark's response, you know, to academics spazzing out on him. God damn, boy. I mean, was it that serious, man? I mean, he's, he's going to be really bothered by that, right? And then this is academics responding to that moment. I ain't going to play the whole damn thing, but I'm going to play some of it. He's not a deity. He's not a god. He doesn't float. He walks. And we have to stop with this this person. All right, so basically he, he's still mad. It, it, it seems like he just mad at, hmm, could he be mad at Jay-Z? Maybe he just mad that he's giving props to Jay-Z. Since since Drake and Jay Z might have a little issue, so it sounds like he might be defending Drake. So so he don't like nobody giving Jay Z compliments or anything like that. So anybody that give Jay Z some type of compliments or, or something, since Drake and Jay Z got beef, now he's taking on Drake beef. I don't know. Shit all sounds crazy. But moving on. It just, it just, it just sounds like he's uh taking up for Drake, you know. He just want to be in good graces with Drake. So anybody that Drake got beef with, he got beef. All right. So let's uh get into this. 